Hey guys, check this out. We're going to be working from half guard in this video. Okay, if I'm passing guys, I'm just going to show you how, how to basic passing, how we can start to smash the guy half guard. If we're here guys, I'm having a knee shield. I don't want this knee shield in front of me, so there's a few ways I can get around it. Let's talk about the knee shield's not there right now. Let's say we're here and they've blocked us in half guard. The battle guys here in half guard is going to be who can get the underhook and the cross face or the underhook in there and protect it against the cross face. So we both want the underhook here, guys. If I can get this, I'm going to be able to flatten my opponent out and I'm going to be able to pass. But if they can get the underhook, I'm going to have trouble flattening them out and they're going to be able to get up on their elbow and then they can start to sweep me. So that's one of the first battles. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I stay low here. I want to keep my elbow in so that she can't just easily get an underhook here. Okay, I like to put this hand right here on the abs as I keep my elbow pinched low and I like to use my head too down here to help prevent them from getting underneath me here. This arm is going to be looking for one or two things. I can either frame right here on the neck, but ideally I eventually I want to get to here, okay, with the cross face. So as we're battling here, I'm looking for my underhook, she's looking for hers. Whoever can win this battle, if I can get to the head and then to the underhook, that's what I want. Okay, so now let's say I get it. I want to flatten my partner out. And I'm going to turn my hips, guys, in a certain way. Watch this. This arm reaches really deep under the head. I'm grabbing the armpit. Now I'm going to bring this knee in tight and turn my hips like this. Look at this kickstand right here. That's going to make sure it's not easy for her to roll. And I'm going to make sure I put all this pressure right on the head, make her head face this way. I want as much pressure as I can. And now I can use this hand to look back, push on the knee, and I can start to walk my foot, guys. Watch my foot. Walk, 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 walk. Now my knee is out right here. I can drive it to the mat. Let's do it. So we were here, guys. I had this armpit grip. I walked my knee out by walking my foot close to the butt. And once my knee gets free, now I can, I have a couple options. I could go either here and in here, or I could start to work my foot out here and back step. Either way is good. Once I'm out, I'm either gonna mount or I can take side control here, holding. If I go over the top, I'm just gonna dig under the arm here, smash the head constantly, a lot of pressure. And I can put my forehead down, raise my butt, and I use my foot here. I actually prefer to go to the mount whenever I can, but as a beginner, you may want to go to side control because you feel more stable there. Okay, let's do that one more time. We're in half guard. This initial battle, guys, I need to stay low, keep my hips back. I don't want that head getting close to me. I want to stay low. I want the underhook and then the cross face. Boom. Once I get here, I adjust this grip in the armpit. I can drop the shoulder, turn my hips, Okay, my kickstand is out. I walk my foot up to the butt, free my knee right here. And once my knee is free, now I can start to drive it over to the mountain here. Put my knee down, under hook, heavy pressure, heavy pressure, use my head as a post. Boom, right there to the mountain. Go try that guys, that's gonna be the number one option, probably the easiest and most fundamental way to pass half guard.